How's it going YouTube? Uh, just making this video for you guys today to help you uh, with your user options. King of the Kill basically just had a huge huge update. Uh, new UI, uh, new, U new interface, all this cool new stuff going on. But uh, at the end of the day for me what matters is my user options, right? Uh, I care about my FPS. I want to know what gives me the best graphical but also FPS advantage. Um, just be warned that just because whatever I'm using, uh, just because it might work for me, it doesn't mean it's going to work for you. Uh, you're going to have to find what works best for you. Everybody has different PCs, graphics cards, you name it. Um, and this video is just simply me sharing my setup uh, in hopes that it might help you. Um, and also, if you guys don't understand how to do the whole read-only, unchecking, etc., etc., I suggest you go on YouTube, look up how to do that because I will not be explaining it here. I am just simply sharing my options uh, to try to help everybody else get the best gaming experience possible. So let's just go ahead and jump right into it. Um, these are my user options right here. Um, I'll, I'll post it in the comment, uh, or not the comment, the description section below. Um, most people like to play on native 1920 by 1080. Uh, I personally like to play on 1280 by 720. That's just what I'm comfortable with. There's less pixels. I feel like there's less input lag. And that's just what I play on. But uh, that, that doesn't really matter. Well, it does matter, kind of. But uh, going down the list here, though, there's HD Pixel Plus, which is one. That's, the, that's high. Uh, Ultra is 1.1. But I play on high because there's really no difference between Ultra and high. In fact, I think Ultra looks a lot worse. I get a little bit of a blur. Um, and then the refresh rate I have here is 144. That actually doesn't really matter, technically, but uh, I just have that set. You could just not touch that, just leave it alone. Um, and then down to the rendering section, we have effects quality, which I have on 2. And the reason for that is, is because if it's on 2, you're able to see when people get hit with blood splats. You're able to see when they shoot their gun and bullets kick up off the ground. And I can confirm that that does still work. Uh, I can see people shooting at me from a distance. I can see the bullets kicking off on the dirt. So that's all good because you want that. Because if you don't have that, you don't know where you're. You know, you don't know what's happening, um, and you need that. Uh, and then the overall quality needs to be on negative one. Uh, that basically means you're on custom. If you're on anything else, it's a preset. So there's like the low, you know, medium, high, whatever. So this needs to be on negative one. Texture quality, I have it on zero. Uh, that's pretty much. I think it's either low or off. Uh, regardless, I want that on low. Uh, shadow quality, it says that I have it on zero here. Um, you actually cannot turn off shadows right now uh, on this current build, but uh, I found that having zero, no shadow, like the worst shadow quality compared to the highest or ultra is actually, I, I don't lose any frames, so I tend to play on high shadow quality. Uh, it's just not uh, shown right here, and I believe that's actually value three or two, but I just have it on zero right now. Floral quality, you can actually turn this off. Um, I'm not sure what the value is for that. I have tried to tweak around with it, but uh, I set mine on one, and it's by default on low. And then when I get in game, I can switch to off, whatever. And then here's render distance. Um, as always, uh, people don't render in for you until they're with within 350. Uh, but landing, it's an issue because you can't see anything. So I actually play on 1100. Uh, 500 is a good value to play on because uh, you can still see enough, but not too much. Um, and this value actually now goes to 6,000. Originally, it used to go to 3,000, but we're, we're down to um, up to 6,000 now, so I don't know why. But that's how that is, and I still play on 1,100. It's a very good value. Uh, not too much, not too low. Uh, let's see. These sections are pretty much, you know, whatever. Keep that on zero. Gamma's your preference, maximum FPS. I, I put that on 999. You can have it on zero, uh, whatever you want. I suggest you leave it on capped, mainly because you want as much frames as you can get. Capping and VSync is the worst thing you could possibly do, so don't ever do that. Now this is important. Use lot away. Basically, this changes how like how dis how objects like render in, and uh, by having it on one, I I found that I. I get about 20 or 30 less FPS. I always see people making tutorial videos saying that this like gains them and whatever, but for me personally, it does not help. So I suggest you turn that off. Smoothing. Uh, make sure that's on zero. You don't want any smoothing. It, it kind of makes you feel all cartoony and uh, it gets, you get input lag, so turn that off. 
this is new. I don't, I'm not sure what Speed Tree Law does. Uh, I just don't touch it. Uh, just leave it on zero. I wouldn't mess with it. Model quality should be on one. That's the lowest, I believe. Um, you can up it if you want to make your stuff look better, but uh, I don't. I don't know. I'm not. I don't really care for that too much. Uh, fog should be off. AO off. Ambient occlusion is just a lighting. It's just a lighting effect. Turn that off. Interior lighting's new. I turn that off as well. I'm sure it just makes it harder to see inside buildings. Vertical fog's on 70. You can actually bump that up to 74 now, but uh, I'm comfortable with 70 because of the old, um, the old H1. So I just keep it on there. Lighting quality should be on zero, and I'll show you in game here in a second why why this should be on zero, especially on this new one. Particle lot, of course, zero, and then that's pretty much it. Everything else is just you know your own settings, your sound, your video. Uh, if if you guys want to know a good sensitivity, I like to play on point fifteen. Uh, that's just what I'm good on. I know a lot of the top streamers would ever play on it as well. Uh, that's pretty much it, it. It's it's just the perfect one for me. Because I play two sensitivity on CSGO, and this point fifteen is just about the same mouse movement, so that's what I like to keep it on. And uh, by the way, you're going to need to change your vehicle mouse sensitivity because uh, it's like hella slow now. Uh, I think it's defaulted point fifteen or something, and you can't even like turn around. I found that point five or 50% vehicle mouse sensitivity is about the same about how it was uh, when... Uh, about the default on the old H1 before this update, so I suggest you change that. Uh, sprint toggle I have on zero because it, it's just it's funky. Uh, I just like to choose when I sprint and I like to auto sprint when I want to. Uh, I also turn reduce input lag on zero, but uh, it's supposed to reduce input lag, but it actually makes me get more. I don't know how that works, but that's just how it is for me. Make sure you have mouse raw input on one. That is a big one. That is a very big one. And then mouse smoothing on zero, obviously. Oh, I think I have that twice in here. Anyway, so yeah, that's pretty much it. You know, everything else, the voice, the UI, that's all up to you guys. And I'll go ahead and show you real quick in a in a solo training mode. Oops, decline that, cancel that. I'll just go ahead and show you in a training mode uh, what, what I mean about this lighting quality because uh, it's actually pretty bad. <laughs> Uh, the game is very buggy, uh, you guys are going to experience a lot of glitches, a lot of lag. I know there's some random, like, invisible barriers, like I've run into them with my car, and I just, like, blow up, whatever. It's, it's, it's buggy. But, uh, they're working on it, you know, give them time. Uh, just be, uh, be happy that the game's out, even though it's not really that great. <laughs> so, here we are, we're landing down. I'm just going to go ahead and choose wherever. As you guys can see, uh, right now I'm getting... Uh, and it's because I'm recording also, because I'm not on uh, full screen. I'm getting about 60 FPS right now. So that's pretty terrible. But uh, when I'm not recording and when I'm not running my voice uh, my voice program and everything else, I'm getting a solid 120 plus. So, um, But as you can see, guys, the lighting is pretty nice. It's well lit. You can see pretty much everything. I've noticed that uh, people don't, like, the, you don't get, like, that black silhouette too much anymore. When you get pretty close, you can see people and the outfits they're wearing. It's really, really cool. But, uh, so we have this, um, and here, here's, what's, here's what the lighting quality does, okay? And it, it's not good. It's bad. So when you have, this is with no lighting quality. It's on low. When you switch it to high, this is what it does. Look how disgusting this looks. Like, I don't know what what this is but like my character is t like tan i can't see anything this creates too much shadow it's too dark people could be hiding and i wouldn't be able to see them like it's ridiculous you know so i just keep that on low and you'll see when i switch it back how emit like the difference it is huge see that look at that good terrible so don't even touch that right uh and then brightness, field of view, and we've already gone through all this stuff. Never turn on V-Sync, blah, 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 blah. Um, and yeah, like I like shadow quality on high. That's just what I like to play on. Um, medium is whatever, and then low. Low is disgusting, so here, I'll walk into the, the sunlight for you. So this is low. Uh, my shadow that like, doesn't even look like a shadow looks disgusting. And uh, I found that I don't lose any frames when I switch it up to uh, high. 
So, oops, that's the wrong one. <laughs> uh, when I turn it up to medium, you see it looks a little bit better down there. And when I put it on high, boom, looks perfect. So, uh, yeah, so just, just play it on high. You won't lose too many frames, if at all. I find that I lose almost zero. Um, let's see, what else here? Uh, da, 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 da. Oh yeah, I might as well show you. So under key bindings, um, this is actually pretty important. So before, if you look at my bar down here, um, I guess I'd have to go pick up weapons, but it, it used to be two, number two as your first slot, three as your second, four as your fourth, or third, whatever, and your binoculars were number, I think, slot five? Um, but it changed, so now they have number one thrown in, and for me personally, it screws up with my muscle memory. Um, I'm so, I'm so used to pressing two to go to my, like, first weapon, and then three for, like, my shotgun, four for my AK, five binoculars. They, they mess around with it, and now it's like one, two, and three, it's really weird. Uh, I don't like it personally. I'm trying to find a weapon to show you guys this. I can't find one right now. <laughs> it's being, oh, look at all this ammo. Oh, and I'm getting shot at. Okay. Well, that's not cool. I'm trying to make a video, man. <laughs> God damn it. Let's just keep running. Whatever. Ooh. Here's a bag. Oh. He's getting close. Ooh, a knife. Or a machete. Wow. Okay. So there we go. So you see, uh, I have it on number two, though, right? But normally it's number one, two, three, and then I think the fists by default are four, and then the binoculars just don't even work. So on the key bindings though, uh, it's right here. Where is it? It's on foot. So gear slot one is by default on this version, one, two, three, and four, I believe. I changed it to two, three, four, and one, because those were the values, uh, the keys uh, that were on the uh, old version. So it's much easier uh, for me to do because my muscle memory just thinks two, three, four, one, because one's our fist. Uh, the the box just got moved, but it was on one. Um, and then I don't know. I guess you'll you'll just have to wait for the binocular fix to come out because right now the only thing you can do is just scroll to it. It doesn't work for me. Oh, and just a, another tip for you guys: uh, bandaging by default uh, is just Q. So just hold Q or press Q, whichever you want to do. So simple. And as you can see, I'm healing down there on the bottom. Uh, and if you want to have med kits, uh, if you want to have med kits key binded, so mine's key binded to X, all you got to do is open your inventory and right here, just drag it right here and key bind it to whatever you want to. I could even put a, oh, I can't put a bandage, but if you have a med kit, drag it there and go to your key binds here and it'll be right, uh, where is it, on foot, it'll be right here. And it's called other medical. And then you just press X, or whatever you're key minded to, and you'll automatically start using attack kit. Uh, it's important for PvP because you don't want to have to be going like this and doing this crap, or like you have to do this and pop and like, you know, strafe around and whatever. Now you can just simply, uh, you know, press a button, <laughs> make it like this. So you just press Q, see, I'm not opening anything, just press Q, strafe around the side, easy peasy. Easy wins. It's so simple. Uh, other than that, guys, you know, that's, that's pretty much everything. I mean, everything else is just, you know, the standard. I have pretty much all my settings. Uh, you'll have to come through here, edit everything on your own. But other than that, guys, uh, thanks for watching, and I hope this helped you. I know it helped me, and just remember, you know, these might not work for you, but they do work for me. So, uh, hope you guys enjoyed. Please uh, like, subscribe, comment.